Chloroform is a chemical compound with the formula CHCl3. It is a dense, sweet-smelling liquid and was historically used as an anesthetic. But before we start, I must issue a warning. In this experiment, I'm handling toxic chemicals. Chloroform is carcinogenic, which means it has the potential to cause cancer. This reaction is also extremely exothermic. You should not do this experiment unless you have an idea of the risk involved. And with that in place, we can get started with the video. To start, I got out my scale. And then I put my beaker on the scale. I then weighed out 232.5 grams of bleach. And after that was done, I took the beaker off the scale. I got a new beaker and put it on the scale. And then I weighed out 7.26 grams of acetone. And then I took the beaker off the scale. I then put the beaker with the bleach in the center. And then I pour the acetone into the bleach. I did this slowly so the reaction would not get out of hand. A little while after the acetone was added, you can see a white layer forming on top of the bleach. I'm not exactly sure what this layer is, but I think it's a layer of chloroform on top. And then I stirred everything around to mix it up. After I started stirring it, the solution went cloudy because of insoluble tiny little droplets of chloroform in suspension. While that's reacting, I think that's a good time to talk about the reaction going on here. First, three molecules of sodium hypochlorite react with one molecule of acetone to produce one molecule of chloroform, two molecules of sodium hydroxide, and one molecule of sodium acetate. Then, the produced sodium acetate reacts with the sodium hydroxide to make methane gas and sodium carbonate. And then, the chloroform reacts with sodium hydroxide to make dichlorocarbene, sodium chloride, and water. And then, the dichlorocarbon reacts with sodium hydroxide to produce sodium formate, sodium chloride, and water. And here is the reaction after a few minutes. And here is the reaction a little while later. Those bubbles are either chloroform boiling or methane gas being produced from the bottom reaction. And here is the reaction again after a few minutes. After a while, I stirred it around a little bit more. I then added a thermometer to test the temperature. I added the thermometer mainly to test the sea if the solution was hot enough to boil chloroform. And then I added it to an ice bath just in case if the bubbles were chloroform vapor. If you're going to do this reaction yourself, don't be like me and add an ice bath after the reaction has gone more than halfway. You should add an ice bath when you first start the reaction. Here's the thermometer after a few minutes of sitting in the solution. Before I added it to the ice bath, the thermometer did not say it was hot enough to boil chloroform, but still, better safe than sorry. After a few minutes, I stirred it around a little bit. After I did that, I took away the thermometer. And then I took the beaker out of the ice bath. After a while, the chloroform settled out on the bottom of the beaker as a nice looking blob, which I think looks pretty cool.
Then I removed the chloroform from the beaker. I did this by extracting it with a pipette and then putting it into a test tube. And then I put the rest of the mixture to the side. I got a bottle that I had previously covered with aluminum foil. I removed the cap and then I poured the chloroform into the bottle. The aluminum foil is on the bottle because chloroform is sensitive to light. To see if I really have made chloroform, I went outside and caught a bug. I unscrewed the cap of my chloroform bottle, and then I poured a little bit of chloroform into the bottle. I shook the bottle a little bit to turn the chloroform liquid into chloroform vapors. And then I shook it a little bit more. When I saw the bug again, the chloroform already seemed to be taking its effect. After a little while later, the bug was already moving even less. A short while later, he was still moving even less. And here is the bug when the chloroform had taken its full effect. I then took the bug outside and let it wake up. Here is the bug a short while later. Here is the bug another short while later. And here is the bug when it is on its feet. And here is the bottle with the products that I made. Thanks for watching.